ladies and gentlemen. Hi, everybody. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. Good evening and welcome to the New York City Arena here in Midtown Manhattan for a much anticipated main event. Ten rounds, middleweight action. Each man comes into this fight supremely confident, expecting to deliver a W. Jermaine Taylor's ring walk, just a cool, calm stride to him. Looks like just another day in his life. Scheduled to go the full 10 if we get that far. Round one underway. Teddy, what do you look for early on when you're analyzing a fight of two power punchers facing off against each other that gives you a clue as to which way this is going? Who's doing the little things a little bit better? Who's using the jab? Who's controlling range? Hey, who's thinking better? Look at that combination by Sugar Ray Leonard. Able to cover up along the belt line, blocks that one. Needs to improve that accuracy, missed with the headshot. Super two punch combo by Jermaine Taylor. Halfway through this round here. And now we got a fight. He fires back a right hand of his own. Bunches and bunches, combination up top. What an excellent two-punch combo by Sugar Ray Leonard. Leonard's impressing the judges and himself with that right hand. See, he's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. Taylor's doing a really good job of being defensively sound, of being patient, and waiting for that golden opportunity for some offense to come in the mix. Well, that's exactly what he's doing. He's waiting for a mistake to be made. You know, he wants a lead out of his opponent right now so he can make a miss and bang, come right back with that hook. Very nice work from both men. They each got a shot in. Sugar Ray Leonard's corner's got to be thrilled with what they just saw. They won that last round. They put down a beat down on their opponent. And now they got to be thinking, hey, this thing could really snowball in our favor big time when we get off the stool here. Yeah, they have to feel that way. Keep it going. Why change it now? You know, what you did the last round, it worked for you. It got you into a commanding position. Keep doing it. Keep doing more of it. But remember your defensive responsibilities as you go forward. Scoring well with that combination by Sugar Ray Leonard. Takes one, gives one. The right hand scores well. That's it. That's it. Good smooth work by Jermaine Taylor. That's classic counter punching. Yeah, what he did was he pulled that right shoulder back. You know, he just pulled it back, gave him the left shoulder, and then gave him the right hand. Nice work, nice work, nice work. Solid straight right hand. Trying to erode away that body with the combination punching. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. Halfway through round number two. Able to cover up that gut. There's the old one-two coming after him. Leonard's combination that was landed moments ago is a, one of those examples of what every trainer would really like to have, and that's a fighter with good hand speed. Yeah, and he's showing that right now. Now, the trainer in the other corner hopes he has a guy with good timing because timing can negate speed. Oh, and a two-punch combo by Sugar Ray Leonard. He tried to nab him up top but was unable to connect. Let's see some more headlines. Jermaine Taylor with a counterpunch. That is a big right hand after eating one himself. This is yours, you hear me? This is your fight. 
keep it up. Keep scoring points like that and keep throwing punches. Make your presence known. Out there. And round number three is underway. Keep moving side to side. Move your head. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. That's a forceful two-punch combo by Sugar Ray Leonard. Sugar Ray Leonard's defense. Is it ever good? Look at how easy he's able to block those punches. Snaps that jab out. Oh, a nice two-punch combo by Sugar Ray Leonard. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Smart boxing here. Good effective work with the counter punch by Jermaine Taylor. Targeting that midsection now with the combo. Leonard proving to be Taylor's cracked by a right hand. And now he's targeting upstairs. Leonard's hitting the mark right now. How precise was he there with that three-punch combo? He digs in, trying to bank away body shots with the combo. Ten seconds to go in this third round. That's great stuff. He right, fires three, one right back three, after taking one. Gotta love the work by Jermaine Taylor. Start of round four, I was trying to listen in to what was told to him after the third round. Teddy, he trails on your scorecard three rounds to zip. He's throwing a lot of punches, but he needs some better advice. Yeah, well, one of the things that he could be told, and I would tell him, is move after your last punch. Don't stand there and wait for the receipt. You're paying a price. And now committing to that midsection as the target with the combination punching. Defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. Leonard's right hand scores well that time. Teddy, what would you recommend based on what we're seeing here? Today? Well, two aspirin and then go. Oh, no. Actually, I would say a little counter punching would be just what the doctor ordered. That's a better prescription for him. You see the accuracy now with that double jab up top. 90 seconds to go in round number four. Nice strike after catching one by Jermaine Taylor. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Good clean shot returning fire. Well done by Sugar Ray Leonard. That is boxing 101. A nice crisp combination by Jermaine Taylor. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Sugar Ray Leonard. Scored well up top. Fourth round now with his last 10 seconds. They both decide to bring it. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Taylor's trainer right now is telling him, hey, we can pull this fight out. You may be trailing. There's not much left, but it's still there. You can still go out there and get this win. Back underway here to live fight action. Tough fight to score. Very, very even. Closely contested bout throughout. One, two jabs up top. Left and right, left and right. Keep working, keep working.
Sugar Ray Leonard throwing wide punches. If I'm standing opposite of that, I jump on it. Yeah, well, if you're the fighter, that's where you have to be kind of like into a Kodak moment where you take a picture and you say, okay, remember that, and the next time, bang, I'm going to take advantage. Still plenty of time to work here in round number five. Minute and a half to go. Pace yourself. They trade shots. He comes back with a right hand. Lands flush with the combination upstairs. Taylor's punch is far off the target. Right back to the gut. Jermaine Taylor is getting back to basics. A good, solid jab. Final 10 seconds. Taylor's corner is letting him know. Take a good breath now between rounds, but then go out there and win this fight. It's really close. If he just pushes a little harder, he can go right over the edge and get it. That's it. That's it. I need another round just like that, all right? You do it. The start of the sixth round. Leonard's coming out here at the start of this round, knowing that the first half of this fight clearly has him out way in front on the scorecards. Yeah, you know, so seemingly in control, and now maybe out of control after getting hit there. But what you just said, Joe, that is really what's the enemy of his right now, is nothing was coming at him, he was winning too easily, and for a minute he let up, and bang! Great work offensively landing that combination by Sugar Ray Leonard. Didn't get it done going to the body there. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Jermaine Taylor. Reaching the halfway point of round number six. Oh, he took some damage, but he gave some back with the right hand. Took a shot, now he gives a left. If there was a baseball umpire around, he'd call that a strikeout by Sugar Ray Leonard. Leonard doing a brilliant job with his head movement and deploying top-notch defense right here, and it's frustrating his opponent. It is frustrating his opponent. His opponent needs to make an adjustment of thinking right now and understand what's there, not what's not there. We know that the head's not there, but what's there? The body. He needs to start going downstairs. Oh, that's a big shot with the left hand. He's jumping all over him now. Leonard's nailed by that shot. Absolutely rocked. He could go down here, Teddy. Combo lands to the head. Keep moving. Keep moving. That was a miss by Jermaine Taylor. The end to another very entertaining round in what has been a very entertaining fight. A fight where there's just bad intentions. The fight that just doesn't have the feel of a fight that's going to be a decision win for somebody. Looks like somebody's going to get stopped. Right from the beginning, they've been fighting with desperation. Like, going the decision, as you just touched on, has not been in their minds at all. Right, let's go. Leonard's doing a good job of being strong on his feet right now. He was rocked in that last round, but his opponent doesn't appear to be seeing any damage standing opposite him. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. Right. 
Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Leonard's lucky that the referee didn't see that. I can't believe he just got away with a headbutt. Taylor's defense is now serving him well. Nice job blocking that punch. Well-targeted two-punch combo by Sugar Ray Leonard. Unload. Taylor's Unload. defense is paying off now. That was not well targeted by Jermaine Taylor. And coming upon the halfway mark. Oh, things opened up, and he was able to place the right hand well. Jermaine Taylor. Oh! Perfectly executed combination. Letters down. He's going to have to beat the count. Hard to prepare for a situation like this, but many do. He's been down, now he's got to survive. So that's where you're wrong. It's not hard to prepare, it's a must to prepare. If you're a trainer, that's what you do in the gym. You teach a guy, if you're in this situation, this is what you do. You grab on, you move your head, you survive. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Keep your hands up. Punch. Good combination Punch. to the body. Protect yourself. And that does it for this round. Just, just, just keep it up. Just keep it up. That's it, it now, all right? It's, it's nice work out there. Just keep fighting smart, keep busy. Don't take a break with this guy, you hear me? This has been a really good fight so far tonight, Teddy. We look at your scorecard. It's obviously a close fight. The start of the eighth round now. Neither guy can get a distinct advantage over the other. No, well, they can, but so far they haven't. And one of the ways they can is one guy can start dumping up that jab. Start using that jab a little bit more. In a close fight like this, that's enough to separate. Three punches land in succession by Jermaine Taylor. Leonard's coming out to fight this round after being knocked down in the previous round. Teddy, any idea? Do you think he's recouped enough here? Well, we're going to find out very quickly by looking at his legs. You're going to look downstairs just like you look downstairs in the basement of a house to see whether or not those bricks are in place or whether or not some of the mortar has kind of disappeared and the bricks are a little loose. We want to see if those legs are stable if they're firm. The halfway point of round number eight. Nice. Keep moving, Takes keep one, but gives one. Good work by Jermaine Taylor. Leonard's so dangerous with that accuracy. A two-punch combination landing. How about a return to sender with the left hand? A strong offensive showcase. The combination by Jermaine Taylor. And that's the end of round eight. Taylor's gathering himself right now in the corner. And his trainer is really doing him a good service in reminding him. Yes, to this point, the later stages of this fight, you're in control. But still, go out and do everything we talked about in training camp. A little head hunting right back to it. Taylor's doing exactly what you should to be a strong defensive fighter. You gotta block those punches away. Here's something that's a key factor now, and that is his ability to simply defend himself. 
he's doing a wonderful job at it. Yeah, he is, and that gives him the ability to always be fresh and confident round after round since he's not taking a lot of punishment. Jermaine Taylor is doing well here with that two-punch combination. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Halfway through the ninth round. Missed the target with that hook. Double jab upstairs. Hey, hey, hey. Let's go out there now. Come on now. Let me see. Taylor's movement helped out there. He's a big shot. The left crashed home. Leonard's defense is solid. Oh, and now the real catch. Can he get up after going down a second time? Three. Four. Five. And Sugar Ray Leonard goes down and now is rising to his feet. And now is going to show you something that you don't usually see. Something that usually you need an x-ray machine to see. Inside him. You know outside what he has, all that great talent. Now he's going to show you inside what he has. Well timed by Jermaine Taylor. He took a step back, landed the counter punch. Exactly what he wanted to do. Leonard's not the kind of guy that's going to float like a butterfly at all. He's more like an elephant just camped out. And he's getting stung by a lot of bees right now for camping out. Taylor's corner knows that their fighter still has much more to do. You cannot just sit back and be content on the stool securing a lead. You have to go out and earn a win. You gotta bring your hands up. You must bring your hands up. Relax, 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 This has been a real good one tonight. And now it comes down to this, the final round. He just missed that shot up top. There's the combo downstairs. Right hand over the top, very accurate with it. Let's see it. Let the fist go. Let him go. A very crisp combination by Sugar Ray Leonard. Now his opponent got away from that uppercut. Leonard's in a cycle right now that's not paying off for him. He has been busy. Yes, he's committed to trying to be on the attack, but not enough of these punches are landing. Now, I would not call this guy in, from what I've seen, to paint my house. Because, I mean, this guy looks like he paints graffiti boards. I mean, he's just throwing stuff in there, like you said. And it's just, it's not, it's not making the picture you want to see. It's not accurate. It's not effective. He's got to be accurate to send the combination to the body, and he does that. Oh, very nice. Smart counterpunch there. Yeah, that's beautiful. You make the guy miss, you make him pay. That's okay, that's okay. Let it Jermaine go. Taylor's Let it go. just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Man, that's it, baby. Good job, good job. Left and right, left and right. Come on, baby. Good looking counter punch. Really good work right there, landing the two punches in sequence by Sugar Ray Leonard. At this point, I'd start to question what happened in training camp. Sugar Ray Leonard's got nothing left in the tank. You know, I would question that too. You know, the first thing that comes to my mind is that they were expecting a knockout, so they trained for a short fight. And guess what? They're sorry.